Shalom Aleichem, everyone, and as is in Pesach, I'm here to talk to you about the blessing over the matzah. And what I wanted to think about with you was the way that we use food to represent the world around us and think through the world around us in both serious and comical ways. And in particular, how people have used matzah um, as a symbol for all sorts of different things. And, in, and we're going to look at a satirical poem from 1956. Um, from the Yiddish newspaper to think about some of those issues. So this is a poem by Yossel Demgrinem, who was uh, as a pseudonym, uh, a satirical poem published in the newspaper, called Pesach Rhymes. There was a fierce discussion between America and Russia, a discussion nine rounds in all, to decide who has the biggest matzo balls, whose knedlich are the tastiest, most sinfully plump. Ike, that smiling and cheerful chump, says American matzo balls are terrific, they even tried eating them on the Pacific, and they're fine north and south. They practically fly right into your mouth. They aren't too hard, they're fluffy as well, and the key to it all is the wonderful smell. When in New York you hold a matzo ball fast, the smell wafts all the way to Kostroma Oblast, replies Khrushchev to Ike. Mr. So-and-so, your knedlach may be kosher, but mine are also. My matzo balls are for Passover, for every day they are not. The steam hits you with such force that it blows from Chelbyaninsk all the way to New Mexico. So there was a discussion of which Knedela were better, the ones from Philadelphia or the ones from Odessa. This makes me worry and it makes me fear. I'm afraid if the diplomats won't reach an answer here, if each insists on being a no man, all that's left of our world will be a broken afikoma. And that's my translation. The Yiddish original also rhymes. The reason why I'm bringing it to you is because I'm hoping that you and your family or whoever is at your Seder will take a moment to think about something on the Seder plate and whether you're being silly or serious, think about how you can use that as a, an opening to a conversation about things that are going on in the world around you. Um, and I invite you to playfully with the person next to you, make up a rhyme or a silly poem about an object on the Seder plate as it relates to something going on in the world. Have fun. <laughs>